Hello and welcome to this new video. It is part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. I got several messages uh, from viewers uh, who were uh, complaining that after making the video sending an SMS with not MCU, the SMS was taking so long to be sent, maybe around half an hour. And this is mainly because the IFTTT servers and not the ESP8266. In this video, we will try to make uh, that in a different way by making our own Android app. So here my board is acting as a server. I will make an Android app with the app inventor that will send the HTTP request to the server and getting an answer containing a value. Usually it will be sensor data. After getting uh, the information, I will send uh, the SMS. I made already the first part uh, during uh, this video, so I will continue with uh, what I did. Uh, this is my program. It is running as a server and answering to the HTTP request uh, by a random number between 0 and 99. This is my Android app. Here, every time I click on the button, I will uh, send a request and display it uh, on the uh, label. And uh, this is an example. Now I will improve my app by sending the request every period of time. For that, I will need uh, to add the clock component. Here, the interval is in millisecond, so every uh, period, the Android app will execute some instructions. In my case, it will be sending the HTTP request. So here, I set the interval to 5 seconds. I will move uh, these blocks uh, into the timer block and uh, I will uh, make a test. As you can see, I'm receiving a random number every 5 uh, seconds. Now, to send the SMS, I will need uh, the texting uh, component. Before using the send message block, you need to specify the phone number and the message. This will work, but uh, beware, it will send an SMS every 5 seconds. I will change the program so the SMS will be sent only when my value is greater than a certain value. The label 1.txt uh, contains my value as a number, and the uh, request here is in HTML format, so I will use the label 1.txt to compare my value.
Et voilà. I hope uh, that it will be better this time. I hope that you like the video and see you soon. Bye.